Welcome to LogiCube's tutorial on the Forensic Falcon Neo. In this session, we'll show you how to multitask. For this tutorial, I have connected a Falcon Neo to a network, and from a PC on the same network, I've logged into the unit using a web browser so that I can operate it remotely. I've already started an imaging task, and we can easily add more tasks and start them simultaneously, streamlining the evidence collection process. The Falcon Neo supports a total of up to five tasks of each operation type. To set up a second, third, or even fourth imaging task, click on the upper right icon, Add New Task. A tab will pop up. Click on that tab, and you'll see that all of the icons for settings and mode and source and destination will appear in the center of the screen. We'll click on Mode. And for this task, I'm going to choose Drive to Drive, which is a bit-for-bit -bit copy of the source drive. I'll click on Source. We're going to choose the PCIe drive in S1. Click OK. For our settings, we'll maintain the 100% clone. Case information, you can add case information here. And all of this information will then appear on the log file for this particular task. We'll keep the defaults for HPA and DCO, which means that they are unlocked and available to clone. For error handling, we'll choose skip. And for error granularity, we'll choose one sector. And for reverse read, we'll choose no. For your hash verification, in this case, for this clone, I will choose none and have no verify. Click OK. OK again and then select your destination drive. In this case, I'll select D1. All drives that are connected to the Falcon Neo destination side will appear in this list. Once you have all of your settings completed, just press Start. A confirmation prompt will appear. Click Yes. And now we have a second imaging task running. I can add a third task. And again, the tab will pop up. Click on that. Select your mode. In this case, we'll use our default drive to file. For our source drive, I'm going to choose S1. Click OK. For our settings, we'll use the default settings. So E01, hash method SHA1. Click OK. Choose the destination. In this case, I'm going to choose D1. Click OK. And just press Start. And again, progress bar will appear. We have three imaging tasks running. And in the upper left-hand corner at the top of the screen, you'll see icons for each of the tasks that are running on the Falcon Neo. And a, these will fill in with green areas as the tasks proceed. We can now add a white format task if we wanted to. So again, the icons in the middle of the screen choose destination. In this case, we're going to choose D4. Click OK. For settings, we're going to choose Secure Erase because I know that this drive does support Secure Erase. If it did not, we could choose to use a wipe pattern mode. Uh, it could be a seven pass wipe or a custom wipe with custom number of passes. We want to have this drive formatted, so we're going to click on Settings click on and then choose the file system. In this case, we'll choose NTFS, but you could choose ext4, xfat, or fat32. You could also choose to have the destination drive encrypted. In this case, we're choosing off. Click OK. OK again. You could also add case information if you wanted to. We'll click Start. And now you'll see W has been added to this upper area here showing that there is a wipe task. We could add a second wipe task if we wanted by add, clicking on Add New Task. We could also add a hash verify task if we wanted to. Um, the mode in this case is either drive hash or case verify. We'll choose case verify. Click OK. We'll choose the case, which would be on D3. Click OK. You'll see that there is a case here, E01 Capture. We're going to select that. Click OK. 
Our settings will be the to verify the primary hash. You could add case information if you wanted to. We'll click Start, click Yes, and now we have a hash task running. Again, all of the information appears up here. Just see all of the tasks that you're running. You go back to imaging. You can toggle be between each of the tasks to see the full progress of that particular task. For example, in image one, we're about 64% done. Uh, it is showing the number of bytes being processed. In this case, you'll see, even though this is a one terabyte drive, it is showing two terabytes being processed because we've chosen verify. Uh, the speed for this particular task is running at 48.85. That'll increase uh, as the drive continues to be processed. The elapsed time will be shown as well as the remaining time uh, for this particular task to be finished. We hope you found this tutorial of interest. To learn more about the Falcon Neo, please visit our website at logicube.com or contact our sales team at sales at logicube.com.